Those of you who have had the pleasure over the years of watching a high school baseball game at East Grand Rapids already know that it is a unique experience. Remington Park with its picturesque woods and trees backdrop, the Mayflower Church steeple in the distance behind center field. Very nice. Now, it's even better. The official unveiling took place Friday night and Ryan Terpstra was there. This week, the East Grand Rapids baseball team celebrated the renovation of their longtime home, Remington Park. The field is now named after the late Rusty Sweeney, a man who held a lifelong commitment to pioneer athletics. Great, and he would have loved it. He played four years, first base. So I'm used to baseball. I went to every game. So I have to watch these kids play now. Well, I was very exciting to bring this pro or this field up to the standards of the East Grand Rapids community, which is such a great community and supports their sports so well. This is now a top-notch facility, one of the best of high school baseballs in the entire area. And I thank you very much on behalf of the athletic department. I also wanted to say that having the personal opportunity to meet Rusty and know Rusty for many years, Gene, he's looking down on us and he is smiling. What a great day for you. What a great day for the Sweeney family. Thank you very much for being part of this. When you play at East Grand Rapids, they preach tradition, and the Sweeney family is a very fitting reminder of that tradition right here at the new Remington Park. It's really a special community, and, and the Sweeney family is just a, a perfect example of what uh, the families we're so lucky to have as a part of East Grand Rapids. They, they give back to the schools, they do anything they can to support the kids, uh, and, and to do it for generation upon generation. It's uh, really proud to have the Rusty Sweeney name on our field for forever now. Tradition, that, that's what it's all about. And Peter Sturzman with the football team, uh, he puts it on the back of the t-shirts that he hands out every, every fall during football practice. So yes, it's very important for the community. It's wonderful because we've had Sweeney's in school here since like, I don't know, 1930s. So a lot of family, it belongs to everybody, not just our family because we've had I mean, all my kids went through here, all my grandkids went through here, so we, I went here, so my husband went here. So. You know, I think it's a, a great lesson for our kids to learn about uh, what it means to give back to your community, what it means to uh, just to be an outstanding citizen like a Rusty Sweeney was. That's, that's something that obviously in high school athletics, that's something we're trying to teach as much as anything. And uh, to be able to have someone like that who we can talk about year in and year out as an example for our young men to hopefully grow up to be is... Uh, that's really what it's all about. Reporting for State Champs, I'm Ryan Terpstra.